Athena's one is an equality charter mark that encourages uh, HEIs to promote gender equality in their particular institution. It involves a thorough self-assessment, which means that you've got to do extensive consultation with students and staff. And after that process, you develop an action plan where you try to address the inequalities that you've identified in your department or in your school. Um, and in psychology, we currently have a bronze board, and so we're working on our action plan so that we can put in an application for silver. The benefits to staff and students from a Athena Swan are basically that it provides a framework to look and address uh, gender equality issues. So one of, uh, our, in our action plan in psychology, we found there was a, a difference between uh, female and male grant applications. So this is funding to, uh, to continue doing research. So that is one of our action points to look at how we can change that disparity. And in terms of students, one of the things we looked at was the gender distribution across degree classes to make sure that that's even. And our current data suggests that it is, but we will continue to monitor that. And then a big issue in psychology is that it's very female dominated. So one of the issues we're looking at is how can we encourage more male students to want to study psychology as a degree. There are quite a few challenges. Um, I think the most important thing is that you need buy-in from senior staff. Uh, that's not just only the uh, panel people, but for the head of school, the head of uh, the lead research, learning and teaching, everybody needs to buy in and see as important. So that means they may be, you may have to enact a, a culture change, a culture shift in promoting gender equality in your school or department. Time is also really important. It's a lengthy process. You can't just do this in six months. It takes at least a year to gather all the data, do the consultation, gather the data, do the analysis, prepare the report, and then submit the report. Mm -hmm. yeah. so it's a long time. You need to be prepared to put that commitment in. There's quite a few changes we've made in psychology that have happened in the short term mm -hmm. since we've got the Bronze Awards. So one of these is that we try to have our meetings in core hours to ensure that all staff are able to attend. Um, we've also introduced time limits on major roles, so a major leadership or an administrative role is now time limited for two or three years. And then that's revisited to ensure that the load is spread, spread more evenly mm -hmm. and also to give other staff a chance at having input into these leadership roles. Um, and another change we've made is that all of our research seminars are recorded on Panopto, so even if you're not able to be there, you can catch up with that afterwards. Mm. Something else we've looked at is the gender split on things uh, like open days uh, and outreach events, so we've been very uh, conscious of how many males and how many females are on our open days events and made sure that we've got as equal as we can a distribution there. That's something we've done. That seems to have worked. Yeah. Uh, and also we've had, um, we've, we've re kind of um, sent information about flexible working to our staff. We've had a uh, workshop around flexible working and we're putting the university's policies into practice, which has been welcomed. Yeah, we've got several good tips. Uh, the first, which I've mentioned already, is that you must have buy-in from your senior staff. Because those senior staff are the ones that are going to be responsible for putting the action plan into practice. So you need really people who believe in the process mm -hmm. and believe in gender equality. That's really important. The second thing is that you need a good team. And the team needs to represent the demographic of your staff and students. They need to be um, representative of that uh, group. You also need people on that team that have got different skills. So for example, you need somebody who is a good writer, a rep good report writer. You need somebody who can uh, use Excel. You need somebody who is good at consultation. Uh, you need somebody who's good at data analysis. So it's essential within that team, you get people with specific skill sets so that the burden is not just on one person. Um, yeah, and then you need to have regular meetings. So we tend to schedule ours on the first Wednesday of every month or every other month. Now we've got our bronze award. 
and that way everybody knows that it's happening at that time and they can put it in their diary. Mm -hmm. It's really important or you yeah. just won't get through the work. Um, the other thing is that workload allocation needs to be provided for all of the roles. So mm -hmm. for the committee, they need workload allocation for the meetings. Um, you also need allocation for the analysis, yeah. for doing the work outside the committee and for the writing. And do not underestimate the amount of work that's involved in producing the document. It's like writing three research papers and a massive grant application mm. and it really does need to be resourced or you just won't get a good outcome. Yeah, and that's, that, that goes back to my point about having a good team. Yeah. So not, not everybody, not one person is doing everything. You can yeah. split the tasks up so people have specific tasks, specific deadlines and then you can come to collate it together as a, as a group. Yeah.